the 19-year-old Mikolai out of Poland. Mikolai Andreas Jack making his way to the red in the red corner and in the blue corner you have Alexander Ivashkin. Sorry if I butchered those names, gentlemen. You'll have to excuse me. Poland's Mikolai Andrzejczak making his way to the cage. Poland, of course, being notoriously great martial artists, holding several world titles in Muay Thai, and grappling, and of course, in the UFC, the highest level of the sport. Alexander Ivashkin out of Kazakhstan. Andrzejczak out of Poland in red. Ivashkin out of Kazakhstan in blue. Andrzejczak immediately center stage. A heavy hitter. Mikolai looks super powerful. Immediately in on the hips is Ivashkin out of Kazakhstan, though, denying him any striking ability on the feet. Looks to take some of that power away by sapping some of that energy, knowing full well he's already fought a fight yesterday in the 16th finals. But Ivashkin now looks to capitalize on that fact. Ending up on top here versus the pole. Nothing of significance happening so far, although the Kazakh being able to take things to the ground the referee might step in here soon if he doesn't see enough activity. The Kazakh not able to make any sort of striking of significance happen here or advancement of position for that matter. Get some points. Although not the most entertaining, but very effective so far is Ivashkin in denying the ability of Andrzejczak out of Poland. And Mikolai, of course, not able to do anything, being denied every single time. Huge up kicks here from Mikolai. Here we go, second round in the men's senior welterweight division. Round two. Poland taking center cage. Immediately in on the hips is Alexander Ivashkin. Excellent timing there. The timing the strikes of Poland's Mikolai. Immediately denies him any movement here from the arms. Nicely done by Mikolai. Reversing position. 
in on his takedown of his own, but looks to take things to the ground. Nicely done by Mikolaj Andrzejczak. He's going to need to create some base here to regain some posture to generate any kind of force in a potential punching. Those short punches work well as well. But to generate any significant damage, he's going to need to regain some posture. He needs to free those arms. Meaning the Ivashkin out of Kazakhstan doing a great job of denying him that. But he reverses the position. Nicely done. Ivashkin out of Kazakhstan. Immediately passes the knees into side position. Mikolai in more trouble now as he needs to get those knees in between himself and Ivashkin to be able to create some distance. Not to be as susceptible to striking. Of course, you won't be seeing any elbows or forearm strikes in, the, in this rule set. So he doesn't need to worry about that, but still punches nonetheless. Immediately into the mount, or three-quarter mount here rather, is Ivashkin looking to soften up his opponent with some striking. Flattens him out. Ow. Huge, huge damage here done by Ivashkin. There, that is it. TKO. Kazakhstan's Ivashkin makes his way to the quarterfinals. The referee has seen enough. Of course, Mikolai not happy with that. Too tough for his own good. But the referee is, in fact, there for his safety, deeming him not able to protect himself. And moving on to the quarterfinals, Alexander Ivashkin out of Team Kazakhstan. Excellent performance by both these gentlemen. But he just got caught, and that's the name of the game. Sometimes you just get caught. Alexander Ivashkin, the savior of the two today. Moving on to the men's welterweight division quarterfinals is Alexander Ivashkin out of Kazakhstan. Will be taking on Ukraine's Ivan Yushchenko. in a battle for a semi-final spot. 